about that. So say say if he was a big artist, say if he was big as Drake, and if you see an upcoming artist make on a struggle like how you was trying to come up, would you do a song out of him for out of love just because you like the record? Like I fuck with the record. Yeah. If I like the song, the money don't really like the money would be helpful, but I would I would definitely give you a discount, like a huge discount if I like the song. Like let's say I, like 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 basically like Drake did for that for Young Blue. Drake gave him a huge discount on that. He charged you know, Blue? Drake said charge I'm, features? I'm pretty sure he I'm pretty sure he charged him. But this is what I heard too from Drake. This is what I heard too. Uh, I heard from uh I think X, X covered it. I think X said one time that when Drake do a feature with you, he like to take the publishing and all that shit. That's how he gets shit. I mean, and that that they could like, probably well, like, Basically, he did charge. You just charge you off the back end. Yeah, but the thing is, the back end is more important when it, when Drake on a song, because if Drake on a song, that song gonna get way more attention. I don't need you to pay me up front, but but if I'm you ain't making no money. Drake you know making, making eighty five percent of the damn record. And that, but that, that's fine because you wouldn't have made that money if Drake wasn't on it for most people. So the only money you see is basically off show money. Yeah. And I mean, the percentage of streams you get. That's the type of thing that that's worth it in a situation like that, though. Because right now, if Drake offered me that, he would hop on a song. I don't pay him anything up front, but he want eighty five percent of the back end. He can have that because now that I, I got Drake attached to it, I can go hustle because I got Drake attached to it. Kind of funny because P Diddy did that with Stain. Yeah. Uh, P Diddy sampled a Stain record. Uh, I'll be missing you from that Stain. Uh, whatever. Yeah, and he has to pay them thirty two hundred dollars a day, thirty two hundred dollars every day for the rest of their life. They worked out some deal. Now the song won P Diddy a Grammy, and that's one of Puffy Biggie hit yeah. hits. Do you feel like that was worth it though, for all that? Yeah, because he he worth hundreds of millions at this point. It's it's one of them things where if enough money is coming in, I can I can pay you out with that. I'm fine with that. That's all that come down to is if if this investment is going to bring me enough in that I can pay you out comfortably you can have whatever money you want off this as long as the as long as the money keep coming in for me and that's kind of again where I say the risk is because because like that's why I took like such a leap on the front end of like putting this album together myself because I was like if I take the risk I still own everything which means that when it come time for me to make deals and like I go to I go to a label and I try to shop the album and everything. I control that now. You know, I can pick that stuff up. Right. Right. You know, right. That, that's on me. Now Kane Vaughn got some flat uh a couple weeks. The guy trapped Laura Ross, this YouTuber. Yeah. Uh dropped a four hour documentary, you know, alleged that Kane Vaughn was alleged attached to these alleged killers he's guilty of. Yeah. And, uh, Asian Doll and everybody else came to his defense saying that's not true. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on this? Because in Kane Vaughn interviews, he never mentioned killing anybody. He was always laughy, happy, go lucky. So was Dirt. Yeah. Do you believe that Kane Vaughn is guilty for these bodies? Because he is attached to FBG Duck murders. His partners kill FBG Duck. I don't. This is facts. I don't put. I don't put anything past anybody. And the only reason why I say that is because. I think you were you paying attention to any of that stuff going down in Florida with um with them Jacksonville rappers and stuff. Yeah, with Fulio and uh Fulio. Young Yo and uh what his name is Young, young and Ace Young and young, Ace Young Ace Yeah Yeah Yeah. My thing is is they look like normal dudes. They don't look like just murderers. Well, what the hell does a murderer look like? Got like, what the that, they look and like regular people. That's what the I'm saying. Thing. Like the difference is they're murderers. They're in, they're in prison, they're wearing a uniform. That's what distinguishes. The if they on the street, they dress just dress just like, like us. us. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they don't look like they don't look any different. They just look like people. Like Jeffrey, like I, I, like, I could go, I could go to the gym, the hoop right now, and there's gonna be two, or three people in that that look like Young and Ace. You know, right. slim dude, light skin, long hair, kind of athletic. Like, like they, it's nothing like it's nothing crazy about it. It's just you know behind the scenes though you don't know what's going on. They they might really be doing stuff. <laughs> Do you feel like the 
people really should choose their friends wisely because a lot of people say they friends wisely, but they friends' friends are the ones getting in trouble. Like, how important it is choosing your friends? I think, I think uh, the people you keep around you is the most important thing in your life. Because if you don't keep the right people around you, you know, it's not really going to help you grow. Like, like even right now, me and you, like, tapping in with each other consistently. Like, like if I were to take off tomorrow and, like, my stuff starts going crazy, you'll still be able to hit me up and be like, slide through for an interview. And just because you was rocking with me before everything, I'm going to slide through for an interview because that's easy and it can help you get some views, help you get some subscribers. Right. You know, same thing with same thing like with, with my homeboy that be producing. He guaranteed 50% of anything I make off any record that he produced for me because he didn't charge me. That's out of the love. You know, and, and I mean, of course, I keep I keep people around me that's that's always thinking about the next move. How can we get better? How, how can we improve? And, and you know, you, you got to do that because if you don't, you just stay in the same place the rest of your life. Yeah, you, you, gotta, you you're you're stunting your growth. Yeah, you got to you got to keep looking for ways to. But, but relationships will take you farther than money. Yeah, relationships gonna always take you further than money. Hundred percent. So dinner with Drake or five hundred K? I'm gonna take the five hundred K though. Just because that the dinner with Drake don't don't prove that we got a relationship. Drake you got you with all the damn time. Drake don't even probably know everybody name. That and a lot of people music. some people I ask that, they be like, I play my music for Drake. Why would I do that at the dinner table with this man? That's, that's, that's not, inappropriate. That's not what we're here for, yeah. We here to talk talk about life and Adonis, whatever the hell we wanna talk exactly. about. Exactly. That man, you know how many people probably hit Drake up about music? He is a human being at the end. He's tired of that shit. He's tired of it. I know he is because I'm tired of it. People be hitting me up. <laughs> folks that I don't really want to work with or folks that, like, you get tired of stuff. So it's, at that point, if I link up with anybody that big for a dinner, we just there for a dinner, bro. I'm not here to talk to you about my music. Nothing. We just chilling. We talking. We going to chop it up. Yeah. And like, that's like if I chill with Villain or DJ. I ain't talking about interviews. Or how can he help me? I'm just talking to him as human beings. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, a Drake feature can't help us. There's a lot of artists that Drake did features with, and they are not here today. Yeah, because they didn't have a plan. They are, like, are Uber drivers right now. Like probably. Blockboy JB. Blockboy JB got one, got that Drake feature and disappeared. My boy disappeared. Conan, where's McConan? Yeah. Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap got a Drake feature, remember? Fetty had no thing on line. Fetty. Fetty got some bread, though. Fetty not broke. No, no, no. Fetty went broke. Have you seen that interview you did with Academics? He went broke. He went broke? Okay. I didn't know that. No, I didn't you know that. You got to watch that with these Academics. Fetty Watt went broke. Fetty Watt went back to selling dope. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. He's I in he prison right now for five years right now. That's crazy. I he ain't broke. Know. The money comes and it goes. Go, yeah. A lot. Nah, that's one thing I can say. A lot of them. When they touch money, they spend it too quick. They spend it on on bad stuff fast. Like they they it come in and they they immediately let it go. Bro, Fetty Watt was got them. Bro, Fetty Watt was buying his whole team thousand clothes. He got women pregnant every week. Yeah, I mean, the, then the pandemic happened. You can't do no shows. You gotta think. Fetty Watt didn't do features like that at all, right? Where's the money coming from? Where the money go? Where the money drives up, bro? Yeah, and, 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 and Fetty Wap had one. Fetty Wap was hot for like six months. Yeah, to be real. But in that six months, a lot of those songs hit the Billboard. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, Fetty was. He had that. Uh, I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? And then it was a uh, trap uh, queen. Was trap yeah. queen. And then he had that. Uh, it was like four, like four tracks. He had back to back. For like a good two years. Mine again. Won't you be mine again? Fetty was hot. <laughs> yeah, Trap Queen 679 again. My Way. Ooh. My Way was huge. Yeah. 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 Uh, that, was, that was definitely a huge joint right there. Uh, yeah. Fetty, Fetty definitely hit the, hit the L with that. Uh, What's your thoughts on YNW Melly, man? He's also facing the death penalty right now. I ain't even know he was facing the death penalty, man. That's that's sad because 
it, it sucked because, you know, when I when I looked into that story, because I, I actually rocked with a little bit of his music at one point. I he allegedly he, killed the two best friends in the car and then staged the drive-by and said that somebody shot him, but they did an investigation. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, when I looked into, into the situation, mm -hmm. I, I definitely was like, man, it's one of them things that... Again, why are we living life like this? Who is it benefiting for you to be, a you know, murdering in these streets? Like, I don't, I don't really care for stuff like that, man. It's and and like like I said, the music. I ain't have a problem with the music. I thought the music was cool from him. Uh, I never liked his music. Though. I thought he was trash. I wasn't a huge fan, but like, it's a few songs he had where I was like, okay, this is a cool track. Murder yeah. on my mind is his biggest song, and split personalities he got with Kanye West. Yeah, he does have a feature though on his under his belt. But again, though, it just when it come down to that stuff, like you, you know, your whole career built off the fact that you murdered your friend. Yeah, uh, you know, allegedly, allegedly, right. So, uh, do you think he gonna beat his case after looking into it? I think he's fucked. I think he done too. Uh. He got his Snapchat shit. He, he said he confessed to his girl on Snapchat. Uh, you know, they got the ballistics ran in. Uh, right now, I think they're saying they ain't got nobody who can testify, but they got so much conclusive evidence on him. It's, it it just looks terrible right now. Yeah. Uh, it definitely, definitely is a fucked up situation. Yeah, nah. It's would, would, right now, if you had a studio in jail, you sent to the future, would you do a song with him? If the song fit, yeah. Cause mm. I I think I think he could throw a decent hook on the track. What about what the about R. Kelly? Fit, huh? you said what? I said the song got to fit though. So, like I'm so just so if he's convicted for murder, would you still you do the working with him? Yeah. Okay. Because my, my my thing in that point is. The record got to be the right fit, though. Like, I'm not going to hop on a track talking about murder just because he got convicted of murder because I'm not murdering nobody. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what about what about R. Kelly? Did you do something with R. Kelly? Nah. Cause Why would you do a song with a murderer instead of a pedophile, allegedly? I think... I think those two things hold a uh, hold a little bit of different weight. I think uh, it's one thing when when you murder somebody that's your age, which I think is an awful thing to do. And then me going and doing a song with you, as long as it's not about murder. I don't know, man, because may I probably I might not even go through with the song on with YNW Melly, cause I. But then again, I try to look at it more too, like it's the art, as opposed to like, like who the person is. If the right. song come out, if the song come out good and and the concept is what I'm looking for, you know, it don't necessarily hurt. And I guess it's the same thing for R. Kelly, but I think I think what kind of like what throws my mind a little bit though is that I know mm -hmm. I know people are going to look at the YNW Melly track a little different than they're going to look at the R. Kelly track. If mm -hmm. I would drop a song with both of them people would go to the YNW Melly track even though he's a alleged murderer and they're going to listen to it and enjoy it. People are going to go to the R. Kelly track and even if they enjoy it they're going to have something to say about it. Mm -hmm. Cause I think that that's just how, like, that's how the world view. Even though both of them, you know, have allegedly committed heinous crimes, you yes. know, they, they, you know, awful stuff that they that they, you know, doing. But people gonna look at it a little differently. I think people people will accept murder before they would accept pedophile. Well, in our culture, we uplift both. We protect the murderers in the family and the pedophiles. Right, like Uncle, Uncle John and um Aunt. Aunt and Susan them touching the kids. Yeah, no, you're right. 
Yeah. What's your thoughts on these AI robots about to be taking over people's songs and shit? How you feel about that? Man, shit? I think this AI stuff is uh I think it's dope that that we've reached this level of like scientific discovery, but I think it's I think it's at a point where it could get out of control fast. And that's kind of where my thing is, is like, yeah, it's cool, but what if it go to what if it get out of control though? Like even with Drake the other day talking about uh going to Universal Music Group and was like, hey, we can't let this AI stuff, you know, get into the music like feel it as much as people want it to be because like folks that made that um that Drake feature in the weekend song that it went viral and had like almost a million streams and stuff and it's like bro that's crazy because it it sounds like Drake feature in the weekend it sounds like both of them is on that track and neither one of them did it you know just just because of how you know that AI stuff man it's it's definitely nice because it's, it's you know it's just it's scientific innovation but at the same time that's that's crazy. But how you feel about if you had a what AI you feel like would sound better under which artist though? If you had to take a drink or kind of, like what song would sound better if they had AI voices, they changed the voice change to different artists. Oh, like like take somebody's song and then put another artist as the AI. Yeah, voice. yeah, using their voices AI I, and shit. I think uh let's see. Dang, I gotta go. I gotta check some songs real quick. Don't play nothing. It's going on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna Matter of fact, I just seen one with Drake. He did much. I seen the AI for Drake doing much. It yeah, that crazy. was that was crap. Yeah, I saw that too. That that was. I think crap. it would have went. Drake would have did well. It, but it's just the fact. Well, it, I think Drake fit that genre, especially with him doing that Lover Boy stuff with like the heart in the corner of his head, like. Yeah. If he would have done that, I think it it probably would have got it would have went viral probably because uh people would have been like, what is Drake talking about? Why is he rapping like this? <laughs> is it scary to me that Drake sound better than Ice Spice than Ice Spice song? <laughs> but Ice Spice don't really sound that good. She don't she to me she's not really a rapper. To me she's an entertainer who's rapping. She got to shake that ass. She's a better twerker than anything. Yeah. She she well she's entertaining. She she know how to get in front of people and make them pay attention to her. No, they're not paying attention to her. They're paying attention to that that tail. She know how to get make them pay attention. She by mm -hmm. by by throwing that. She know how to throw her ass, but she cannot throw bars. Nah, that I mean that ain't what she there for. No. I don't think that's what she there for. Like that rolling loud. Mm -hmm. You said what? I said I hate it because. You know, I think that, you know, too much of it became about, like, the hustle. A lot of folks just trying to get attention. That's all they're really there for. Yeah. That's why artists like Three Stacks and Lauryn Hill left, because it was supposed to be about the art. Yeah. Rap City. That's why I feel like artists like Rap City can't blow, because it's it's about the hustle. Now, it ain't about the, the growth. It yeah. ain't about getting it, getting it out the mud no more. Yeah. It, ain't, it lost that. that. That got lost a long time ago. Uh... Do you feel like uh, what's your thoughts on this, bro? This is the last one right here. I think a couple more. Um, Cat Batman Kevin paid for pussy. He spent like twelve thousand dollars on pussy. <clears throat> do you feel like that was too much, or do you believe men should pay for ass? That's a lot of money, and I would I would never pay that much money for <laughs> for that. But at the same time, I don't I don't necessarily fault another man for what he spent his money on because to me if that's your money you got the freedom to go spend whatever you spend it on but at the same time what i have spent twelve thousand on that nah because i can use twelve thousand for for way better things yeah 12 racks for me you can go a whole lot farther right now a lot farther than than why would i spend 12 racks just to bust a nut i can do that by i my can do that for free that's what i'm saying Twelve yeah. racks is crazy. He said it was for a celebrity. Uh, do you feel like that's a simp move or not? It it depends on who the celebrity is, and nah, because any any celebrity that I would that, that you would be willing to pay money for probably wouldn't even take money. You probably wouldn't even have the opportunity. So it. 
to me it's I don't I don't I don't think it's a simp move, but I, I don't think it's I don't think it's a good move. I definitely think like I said, he could have used twelve thousand dollars for anything other than that and it would have been better. Because he could have just, just like we said, just went home and did it himself. I think that was a, a waste. Or this thing, I think he's well, well known enough that he, he probably could have just pulled up to a club and, and and talked to some girl at the club and, and went home. Like right. twelve twelve thousand is a crazy amount of money. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that that is just mind blowing. And he got his fucking body done and shit. That was strange. Drake also got his body done as well to get a six pack. Yeah. Well, what's your thought? Some men getting their bodies done and shit. You said Drake got his body done. Yeah, he got it. It was pecs because he got surgery on that. He got the male BBL. <laughs> the male BBL. Nah, bro, I couldn't do that. Cause I mean, even now, like, I don't even know if I told it, bro. I lost like, I think I probably did like let you know. I lost like 140 pounds in 12 months. Damn, that's good. That's damn good. Going going to the gym five days a week. Five days like, a week. Huh? You go five five days a week. I went five days a week. I don't do it no more. But eventually,